What's up guys, this is the Power Mushroom, and I know it's been a minute, had some things going on, but uh, my box finally came in for Video Games Monthly, this is the June box, uh, I don't know what's in it yet, so, you know, obviously, we're gonna go, this is what, the second month, the first box I got last month, it, it was pretty decent, I'm not gonna lie, I actually really enjoyed it, <coughs> uh, there's a couple titles in there, hey, I was real happy to get, uh, especially on the P PSP, so let's see what I got this month for the June unboxing. Uh, again, haven't opened it yet, so I will set this over here, and then we will check it out. Just move some stuff. I actually do have to reorganize this little room in here so we can get everything squared away, but we'll go ahead and start. Uh, I think, what, we got a card? Ooh, we got a, we got a one-up. We got a, we received a free game, so I guess an extra game. So there should be 11 games in it because I have the 10 game box and let's see win three games okay yeah and you have that little social media thing they tell you so anyways i should i guess we're uh we should be looking forward to at least one free game in this box so let's see what we got first one we got starlink battle for atlas i do not have this game but i have heard i don't was this the one with the ship i think it is it's a two-player game I do believe this is the one where you like do put your own ship in the game. It was something like a uh, Skylanders, uh, but hey, I I wanted to try it. I just never wanted to like put forth the money to play it. So, I mean, I guess I got it now. So Starlink for the PS4. Uh, it's brand new, so hey, it's not a bad deal. I, I actually probably will check it out. I've heard that it's like almost like a Star Fox clone type game. Uh, let's see what else we got. I'm trying to check. Oh, okay. Another game I've never heard of for the PS4. Past Cure. Um, it's a psychological thriller that blurs the lines between dreams and reality. This actually looks like a game I'd probably be into. Um, it does not look... It, I've really never heard of this game. So, yeah. I'll, I'll check this one out. It's also sealed. Brand new. You can check it out in the back right there. Uh, it's a single player game. Uh, it looks like a small... It might be a small indie game, but it... Again, like it looks pretty good. Came out in 2017, so uh, I'll have to check that one out. Pass here. Sorry about that. My camera did die on me for a second, but it's all good now. I haven't gone any uh, forward anymore. So we got Pass Cure, Starlink. Uh, first two were PS4 games. We got another game right here for the Xbox One: Agents of Mayhem. <clears throat> uh, it is used. Oh. see um never played this game i actually do have it for free though i got it was like on that like xbox free free games i do have that but i guess now i have a physical version uh it's not too bad uh case a little beaten up right there but i'm not gonna argue with it it's hey it's uh agents of mayhem i got a physical version of it now uh who knows i may play this game now I still don't know. Let's see. Hand. Craft. Open world. I don't know what this game is. I really don't. So that's three games. Never played before. Uh, if you guys have played Agents of Mayhem, uh, let me know what you guys think about it. I probably will give it a give it a shot. But I'll probably do... The one right now, so far, I'm interested in is Past Cure. That, that one right now is on the top of my list to get played uh, after I'm done with Mass Effect Trilogy. So we will see. We got bubble wrap. All right. Looks like we got another console game. Ooh. Okay. Fate to Silence. Always wanted to play this game. I'm actually happy I got it. So if it's for the Xbox One, it's cool. Prefer I would. I guess I would have liked the PS4, but uh, Xbox is cool too. I'll play it on there. Um, <coughs> I remember seeing trailers to this game. And it always looked interesting, but I never wanted to fork over the 40 or $60 for it. Um, just because, like, a game really has to pull me in. But I'm kind of glad I got this because, you know, now I don't have to go out and purchase it. I actually forgot that this game was around. Um, like, always kind of blended in with me. Like that one game, Prey, on the PS4 and Xbox. It, it, it kind of blended in like that. But, you know, like, they kind of looked the same. But I remember when this game was uh, came out and it really did look interesting. I just didn't 
you know, I guess I didn't have the money for it. So Fates of Silence. Now that one's on the top of my list, right next to Pass Cure. Um, let's see what else we got. So that's four games so far. We got a Game Boy game. Ooh, here we go. Donkey Kong Land 2. Uh, this would have come out right along with, I believe, Donkey Kong Country, Diddy Kong's Quest. Um, and it actually looks like someone owned this before. Um, hey, whoever it is, I got your, your Donkey Kong Land game. Uh, the Donkey Kong series, a really good series, actually. And, uh, as a kid, I really loved uh, Donkey Kong Country and Donkey Kong Country 3. It was Diddy's Conquest. Um, those two, was it? I don't know. That was Donkey Kong Country 2. I'm getting mixed up, guys. It's been a long time since I played those games, but uh, the Donkey Kong uh, series, one of my favorite series of all time, and I'm actually glad I got this because I don't—I never played it on the Game Boy, so I'll give that a shot. I also like how the color is different for the Game Boy cartridge. And we got another one. Um, we got Rescue Heroes. Uh, that's a kids' game, the Game Boy Color, I believe. Yep. I actually do remember this toy line. This was a toy line, um, and I guess it got—it was pretty popular. They made a. Uh, it was by Fisher Price. I definitely remember that. So Rescue Heroes, um, Fire Frenzy. Never played it. Who knows? Might might give it a shot. I wonder how the game is. Oh, it looks like we got more Game Boy Color games. Uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. Never played it on the Game Boy Color either. Um, not sure how that would work. If it would be any good. Um, I did play the Tony Hawk Pro Skater series on the consoles. Never on the Game Boy Color. So I'm kind of interested to see how that would work. With especially the way the game is supposed to be like a 3D game. Uh, so I, I might actually give this one a shot out of curiosity. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. I wonder if they have the soundtrack on there too. Like they have some... Uh, okay audio. I don't think the Game Boy Color would be able to handle the type of audio quality that a console would. I mean, obviously it wouldn't, but I want to know if maybe there should be like some songs or some 8-bit tunes on there. So far we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 games. This is our 8th game. <clears throat> Pac-Man Collection. Here we go. And this one was also owned by David. Uh, or no, not David. Uh, Adam. Adam, and I don't know what your last name is. I have your game. Uh, this, I don't know, I guess writing names on our cartridges were just something we did. I did it too. I don't know why. Uh, the Pac-Man Collection, um, actually really decent game. I used to have it. I don't know what happened to it. I lost it, so I guess I'm kind of glad to have it in the collection again. This actually included a collection of the, most of the Pac-Man games. I know we had Pac-Man 3D World on there. Or not 3D World. Uh, it was, it was like a 3D Pac-Man game and like a few other versions of Pac-Man on there. Um, but it is a small little collection of Pac-Man games. It's not bad. I actually really did enjoy them, and I probably will play this uh, right after this one. It's a nice little just pick up and play game. All right, so so far we're at eight. This is game number nine. Uh, Tetris Worlds for the Game Boy Advance. I am happy to have that. And you know, funny thing is, uh, I will mention this because I I see that I'm getting a lot of Game Boy Advance games. I do not mind. Uh, I know some other people do, but I actually found this seller on Etsy. They make these nice little cassette tape uh, Game Boy uh, cartridge things. They're real neat. They're, they're really neat to keep like all your Game Boy games in. And as these games come in for, uh, for my Game Boy Advance games, I'm ordering these as they come in. Believe it or not, these are nice little cassette tapes. They look real cool on the shelves. So if you guys are like are interested in that, um, I'll probably leave the link in the description below. Um, because, yeah, I got quite a few of them. And let me just say, my Game Boy Advance collection definitely looks a lot better. I actually kind of like them a little bit more than cardboard cases that, you know, the original ones that they came in. Um, these look a lot more, you know, they look a lot more nicer. So I would definitely, uh, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can start boxing up your Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color games. Because that's what I've been using, especially since that last haul. I got a couple of Game Boy Advance games. I, I ordered some, so the little cases that I'm getting, they're, they're real nice. So, uh, like I said, link in the description, I'll leave it there for you. Um, we should have two more. Ooh, Sudoku Fever. Um, for people who have not played Sudoku, uh, uh, Sudoku, Sudoku, whatever you call it, um, 
it, it's it's a nice little brain game. Um, I actually do play it regularly. I used to play it a lot. Uh, I, I would actually get these books in middle school and high school, and I would fill out these books of like just numbers, and it, it's a it's a weird game. All right, it it's, consists of nine squares, and <clears throat> in these squares you can only have the numbers one through one through nine, and you know I'm gonna I don't even know how to explain it. Look, if you haven't played Sudoku, it's a nice little puzzle game, and when you get the hang of it, it, it is kind of hard for me to explain. But when you get the hang of it, it's it's really decent. Um, just know that it's it's a puzzle game, and it's it's almost like crossword with numbers. So Sudoku. I'm actually interested to see how the Game Boy version of that would go. And I believe this is the last one. Yeah. Last one. We got uh Let me sneak it's a series of unfortunate events. Um I did enjoy the movie as a kid and I read the books. Uh I read all of them. The, the book series was actually one of my favorite book series of all time right next to like Lord of the Rings and uh the what? Lord of the Rings and uh, what was that one? The Chronicles of Narnia. Uh, Lemony Snicket was right up there. Uh, pretty dark series, uh, book series, but I really did enjoy it. Not sure about the game. I've never played it, but this is back when like Activision was making all the movie tie-in games. Activision and THQ, I believe. So um, I got it now. It's there. <laughs> so yeah, not a bad haul this time. I'm actually uh, excited with the games that they sent me for the Xbox and the PS4, and nice selection of Game Boy. Like, nice selection of Game Boy Advance games all around. Uh, so far, this this box hasn't disappointed me. We're, what, this is my second month? <coughs> second month in, and let me just say, uh, not bad. I, I actually am, I'm seeing games that I haven't seen before, or games that I've wanted, and just never picked up. Um, if you guys are interested in a subscription service, I'll probably leave a link in the description below with that too. Um, but yeah, that is my video games monthly unboxing for June. And I guess, what? july will come next month so yeah anyways thanks you guys for watching uh, remember to like comment subscribe upvote don't upvote um but remember when you guys are gaming power up